Today is Wednesday, February the 17th. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and this is my daily thought. Okay. <laughs> where to start, where to start, where to start. All right. I plan on doing an episode. I am, I'm not going to go into it too much right now. I had a conversation with my mother, and I plan on doing an episode about that. Let's see. Where is it at? Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that episode tomorrow <laughs> based off of not just that conversation, but some other things, too, that I have with my mother. And make sure you you catch the episode as long as we all see tomorrow, which, of course, give thanks for any new day that you see is what I always say. But, yeah, the goal is to do that episode tomorrow. I'm feeling much better than yesterday. Still a little bit. Yeah. But for the most part, I'm good. And I hope that you're good. KIRWKC.com main podcasting platform. Also, this podcast is carried on Spotify, Apple, Google Play, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Verbal, Bullhorn, Overcast, several platforms. So feel free to listen on any of those. Also, KIRWKC on the social media platforms, all of them. Facebook.com forward slash K-I-R-W-K-C. Just swing by the page and give a like if you want. And yeah, today is it's pretty good. Also, shout out to one of my friends. Today is his birthday. I had told you about that. So now I can tell you what I got because he had the two gifts that I sent him because I sent him one gift for Valentine's Day and one gift for his birthday because it's it's three days apart. (laughs) So his birthday was today. And for Valentine's Day, I gave him the he's a big God of War fan because also I love God of War. And I got him the God of War T-shirt and he enjoyed that. And he decided to wait until today to open his birthday gift. Because he had asked me, you know, if he could open his birthday gift back on Valentine's Day. And I'm like, well, it's up to you. What do you want to do? And he's like, well, I'll just wait until my birthday. I'm like, okay, fine. That's cool. So the day came and he got it (laughs) and he enjoyed it very much. I got him a God of War blanket (laughs) is what I got him. (laughs) So he said that he was very, very happy to receive that God of War blanket for his birthday. So I'm glad that you enjoyed it because he listens to my podcast. Um, yeah. For today, the title says everything must change. I'm not going to talk too long. I'm actually my goal is to wrap this up in 15 minutes or less. That's the goal. Maybe we'll wrap it up in 10 minutes or less. Who knows? But I, I've i talked to people over the years. And some people say, hey, you know, you're still pretty much the same person. And I'm like, yeah, certain things are. But some things aren't. Because everything must change. And you may stay the same at your core. It's sort of like, and I use the iPhone as an example when it comes to things sometimes because it's the best thing that people can relate to. But it's sort of like the iPhone. The first iPhone came out, then the second one. And now, which I don't own any Apple products, so I think they're on iPhone 37 now or something like that. But regardless, the iPhone itself, it has remained the same with certain parts. It's not where they release an iPhone, pick a number. And then you're like, wait a minute, what the is this? It's not like that. But there had to be changes to bring it up to date to the time. Even though personally, I don't think the changes are that significant, but these are minor details. This is not an Apple critique right now. I'm just going to go ahead and make my point. (laughs) So they had to make changes to help the phone evolve. 
They kept the core of what it was with the original iPhone. And the core will always be that building block, that foundation for all of the other iPhones that come after it. But when you hold an iPhone in your hand, regardless of what type of iPhone they come out with, what number or what version, because I think they do like um, Max or A or, or something like that. I think they have a plus too as well, I think. Don't quote me on that. But regardless of whatever versions they come out with, you can still tell us an iPhone you know it's an iPhone. You're not like, why does this look like a BlackBerry? Or why does this look like a Motorola? Or or something like that. You know what I'm saying. But with the features and everything else that they add on, the features change over time because it has to evolve to adapt and acclimate with the new environment. And that's why things have to change when it comes to people. They have to be able to acclimate to the new environment constantly because things are not just internally as a person, but externally around them. Everything around you is changing at all times. Again, I've said this many times before. Time stops for no one. The world will continue turning no matter what. A meteor could hit us tomorrow. The world's still going to turn. It's, it's going to keep going. And in order to be able to better maneuver through the changes around you, you also have to consider changing yourself. You don't have to change yourself completely where you're a totally different person because you always want to keep that core where people still recognize you for who you are. But when it comes to life, it doesn't hurt to evolve. It doesn't hurt to change. It doesn't hurt to do things a little bit different from time to time. Some things can stay the same. But for the most part, everything does change. And there's a beautiful song, and it's called Everything Must Change. And it's like, nothing stays the same. Um, I'm, I'm playing it in my head right now. The young become the old. And chapters do unfold. But um, that's the part of time. Um, t- that's the part of time. Nothing stays the same. There are not many things in life you can be sure of, except rain comes from the clouds, stars light up the sky, and I believe this music makes you cry. Winter turns to spring. A wounded heart will heal. And if it was playing, I'd know the lyrics better. Isn't that weird? Like when you hear a song and then you may not have the lyrics down pat, but as soon as the song starts playing, you you know the lyrics <laughs> as it's playing. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah. But it, you you get what I'm saying. If you ever get a chance, listen to it. There is a singer, I believe her name is Diane Reeves. She did it as a duet with someone. And her version of it was amazing. Because I actually like hers more than I like Barbara Streisand's. And, and I love Barbara Streisand's songs. But, yeah, this is something that people have to understand. And sometimes you get the, I don't wanna say attitude, attitude has a negative connotation to it. Sometimes people step back if 
something is different. Like if not everything is the same about you, if something's if you start to do just one or two things a little bit different, even though your core is the same, if you start to do one or two things a little bit different, some people step back and they're like, you know, why did you change? What happened? What are you doing? What's going on? And what they're not realizing is, is that everything must change. And it's not just because you want it to, it's because more than likely you had no choice but to, because everything around you was changing. So that's um, sort of how I feel on that one. When it comes to that, I don't now I I think of the thing, if you do the things you've always done, you will get the results, something to the effect of you will get the results you've always received, something like that. So if one thing doesn't work and you've been trying it for a while, then that's when you switch it up and and you do that. But in order to do that, you have to change. That's why I've done different things with the show. I switch stuff up because I, the show has to evolve. I don't have a choice. I mean, that's how it is. And I know for those who are watching the show, you're like, what is he doing right now? I'm typing on one of my laptops. I'm doing two things at once, which I do sometimes when I record my my episodes so <laughs> just know is it we we call it multitasking <laughs> is what we call it <laughs> so yeah but tomorrow for tomorrow's episode i'm looking forward to it because i i really 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 want to I want to have it on record. And that's why I love doing my show. I love having stuff on record. Because speaking, you know, the young become the old, I'm getting older. And as much as I joke with my, you know, my friends, my small circle of friends, and, and I say that I'm, you know, immortal. <laughs> Inside joke. Um... I know that my time will eventually come. And if I get as many of my thoughts as possible on the record, and of course, my, my opinion, my viewpoint and things can change too. As our lives change, so will our needs. But for things that people may not have known about, especially my family members, uh, some of my family members swear they know me. And they really don't know me as well as they think they do. It's, it's hubris is what it is. People always want to be right about something. They always want to be like, see, I told you I was right. I was right. I was right. No, you don't know. You wish you knew. So this podcast is also a way. So when I am no longer able to speak, when I'm no longer here and able to speak for myself, because that's the, another thing people like to do a lot of sometimes, which I try not to do too much of that, where they say, oh, well, you know, if such and such was here, they would go ahead and say, da, 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 da. And I'm like, um, did you hold a seance and we didn't know about it? What, what was really going on? So for me, unless you hear it come directly from me, don't assume what I will say or have said. So yeah. Okay. 
get this wrapped up here. I know people who are listening to the podcast hearing this clacking. You know, I never did learn how to type traditionally. I, I learned by just using the keyboard a lot. And when I type, I, I type a lot, uh, like really, really hard. <laughs> So, yeah, but that's one reason why I do this. So I'm looking forward to doing this episode tomorrow. That way it's on the record of how I'm feeling about a situation. Oh, me, oh, my. And I'm just messing with my eyes, put on some sanitizer and do that. So, yeah, we're at 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'm looking forward to the episode tomorrow. So far, so good. We are... Moving towards this weekend for the March Energy Tarot Card Readings. So keep your fingers crossed. We should go ahead and be good on those. Which, by the way, and this is just really, really quickly before I go. I did a, I don't want to say a reading. I did, this is my friend I was telling you about that got the God of War. Um blanket and shirt that just texted me on my other phone. I have three cell phones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I did, I don't, I don't want to say a reading. I, I spoke to my cards last night about myself. And when I tell you it really hit home, I was like, wow. Because <laughs> I was asking some questions and then pulling out, you know, the cards were coming out. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a whole nother thing, though. I might bring it up this weekend. I might. I might tell people what what came out. Then again, I may not. I don't know. <laughs> Let me get going. Thank you for all that who, who have been listening and supporting. I sincerely appreciate it. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Until next time, be blessed. <laughs>